Alright, what's up, dub what's and the dub what's going on, my subscribers? Ace here, here with another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Sun. What's poppin', everybody? So, in the last episode, if you guys did miss it, we did, uh, complete the trial of, well, I guess the dragon trial. Like, it's not particularly anybody's trial or anything. It's just, like, the random, like, Kamo'o and, like, squad just chilling out here. But I was also reminded that there's actually this little bit over here. So, I think before we go into, like, the big, uh, the big area up there... Uh, towards the altar of the sun. I, I was also corrected that it's called the altar of the sun, not the sunny, like I've been saying it. Because I don't understand why it's S-U-N-N-E, and it's not called sunny, it's called sun. Because, like, because you apparently don't pronounce the E, but they didn't want to just make it altar of the sun, S-U-N. Because they're, that, because, because they're stupid. They're stupid, okay? We're gonna go over here. So, that's why we came back this far. Uh, hey, hand over your buggy MZ. I don't care whether you have one or not. Could you have gotten to- I don't think you could have gotten to this point without getting the buggy MZ, right? Actually, I guess technically you could have. But, I don't think- no, cause no, cause you need the young goose. Cause you can't- yeah, you can't progress without the young goose. Uh, this is, like, oddly an okay matchup, but not an amazing matchup that I want to, like, write home about. We're gonna dazzling gleam this thing, and it's probably not gonna do that much, but... It'll do a decent amount because Kofi is a bee. Oh, <laughs> J.K. Kofi is a bee. Never doubt the power of Kofi. Young Daisy. <laughs> Daisy does not play. But if I remember correctly, this is actually one of the areas over here where you can actually get Dratini by fish encounter and on. And you guys know that anytime I see like oddly placed grass right there, I thought there might be like a little gap that has a Pokeball in it. Also, we get to see what Pokemon are over here. It's just the same Pokemon that we see normally through this area. That's fine. It's actually been a little bit since I've played the game, so excuse me if I'm if I lag behind in remembering where we were. But I like if I remember, we were right outside the altar of the sunny, so maybe just on the other side of the dragon area. But you know, like when we saw this area, I was just like, hey, I should go do this. See, I think this this area right here. So if you fish on this, there's a one percent chance or something like that, or it might be ten percent chance with bubbles. That you can get a Dratini in the bubbling water. It's either 1% or 10%. I can't remember specifically for Dratini. Let's see if we can get one. It's a Basculin. I think I already have Basculin. So I don't think we need a Basculin. Yeah, I do. Okay. I also caught a whole bunch of Pokemon. So the next time we go to a Pokemon Center, I'll show you guys my exploits. And uh, if you guys want to just kind of see them live, you should definitely tune into the streams when I go live. So we're gonna need to swap over to our Sharpedo Jet here. And you know your boy is like crazy about breaking rocks, so let's just break all the rocks. There will be no way that I cannot go. Alright. Yeah, I saw that fighting guy over there, so we'll go beat his ass real quick. A Golbat. Alright. I don't understand why they, they felt the need to put Golbat. Like, I understand it's a cave. But like, at the same time... Why is there a gold bat here? I do not understand. I cannot relate. Howdy, Baku. What's poppin', my G? I confide myself to this cave to seek the secrets of battle. If it's alright with you, please battle my beloved Pokemon. Alright, let's go. Put your dukes up, my boy. Put your dukes up. Black Belt Terry. Howdy, Terry. What's poppin', my G? Combinable. Oh, God. <laughs> this thing's actually a savage. Wait. Can't just pull out a Yeti on me. With a Dumb and Dumber haircut. It's actually rude. Alright, have a Dazzling Gleam, because you're still a fighting type. And go Vado play! Oh, I thought I was gonna kill. Actually, well, it's a 2KO anyway, so it's fine. Go Vado play! Actually, you probably need to swap Confei out of front, because Confei's, like, super... Like, super high levels for no reason. Alright, have a Petal Blizzard, my boy. Dun, 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 Attacking and defending, I guess it's all up to oneself. I guess you could say that. So, let's see, who's our lowest leveled again? But we need to keep in mind for speed tiers because there's Golbats in here. Uh, I guess we can go with Woody. Because between VJ and Woody, Woody's a good bit faster, and I don't want to be stuck in here for 10 billion years. So I guess that's fine. Alright. 
Oh, we do get back immediately back on the torpedo jet. That's that's a nice touch. Thank you. Thank you, game developers, for noting what I was on <laughs> last in the area. Alright, here we go. Oh. On the torpedo jet, you can't immediately uh, get the water encounters. Who have you met, and whom did you choose? Whom have I met, and who have I choose? I'm not particularly sure on what you mean. Like, my starter? Surfer John... Wait, Joshua? Oh, Joshua. Okay. I don't know why that threw me off so much. The spelling was weird. Alrighty then. Let us pop this boy up with a bullet seed. And if you guys have probably noticed as well that my uh, experience share is off because I've been told that it's a little bit overpowered. So we'll just catch up to levels naturally, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, I always think it's odd in a game that you can get overleveled when you only battle the trainers that are given available to you. Like, I'm not battling like extra Pokemon or anything like that. Like, I'm catching Pokemon every once in a while, but like, not really that often. See, like, I'm getting levels just naturally. Wants to learn Hyper Voice? Uh, no, thank you. Just simply because your your physical attacks are so much stronger. No doubt about it. You choose Pokemon, didn't you? Uh, I did choose Pokemon, I guess. Alright, let's get on this land shore here. Ooh, an ATM! Flamethrower! Nice! Uh, we can actually teach that to Incineroar because he has a, like, Fire Fang or something? Let me see. What do we what do we have in our moves here? Oh, we already have Flamethrower. Well. Alright, well, I guess we'll just keep everything else. I wonder if we'll learn Crunch soon. I guess we'll find out. Cause I can't get over that side, so I have to go back the same way. All right, get me over here. All right, so that was a nice little exploration. If you guys are wondering how to get flamethrower, that's that's how you get it. Na -na 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 -na. Nice. Oh, out here. Okay, there we go. Wait. Oh, we encountered a Pokemon. I was like, wait, what is this cutscene like? Taking seven years to get out of here. All right. Pardon me, Golbat. I'm gonna be on my way. If you don't mind. If you don't mind. I'll be on my way. Good day, sir! I said good day! What? I said good day! Stop leech lifing me, dirty bitch. Leave me be! Hello? Uh, don't make me beak blast you, I will. Oh, I will. Don't think I won't. That's why. that's what I thought! Punk ass bat bitch. Alright, get me out of here. Alright, where are we going? Where do we come from? Where do we go? Where do we come from, Cotton Nigel? Uh, hello? Let me through here. Okay. I think Lily Hills is up right here, so this is perfectly fine. Pardon me, Lily. Would you mind healing me up? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright. Head inside we shall go. Alright, and I guess we'll just keep moving on. Move along, move along like I know you do. Is there anything in this cave? No? Okay. Just curious. Do 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 do. Give me to the other side. To the other side. Away. Oh. 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 Nice. Looking pretty sweet. Hey, what's poppin', everybody? Ace. Howdy, Lily. Howdy, Hapu. What's poppin', everybody? Our history tells us that the Vast Pony Canyon trial was the very first trial ever to be held. You did a fine job clearing it, just as expected, Ace. You clear the seventh trial in your Alolan Island Challenge now. That's wonderful. You push yourself beyond your limits and really become a great trainer, haven't you? And he could have never done it without you, Tapu Koku- uh, ta uh, to Cannon. Help me- uh, let me help heal you up real quick. Gotta read, man. Just sometimes, like, when the, like, the, the thing gets so long, I just, like, I get bored. Look at the two of you. I think this just might work out. No, I'm quite sure of it. I guess Mosdale agrees. Alright, it's time! The sun flute and the moon flute. If we both, if we sound both together. Let's go, Ace! Alright. Yo, the music is so intense here. Wait, chillax! Okay. 
I guess we're ready to go. Hello! Dun, 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 dun. I kinda wanna look at this. And I'm like, yo, whoa. <laughs> Push me to the edge. All right. Bruh. <laughs> okay. Anytime they put like an odd little area here, there's probably something hidden here. Okay, maybe not. There's no Rotom spots or anything here? Feels. I feel like there would have been. Alright. Here we are! I can feel the strong power of the sun. Nebby, before I can return you to your original form, I've got to find my mother. I have to tell her. I have to tell her how I feel. And then we will find a way to stand against a crossman together. The moon flute. It makes me feel like it was made to fit my hand. I think I can play it. Oh, all right. I want you to know your boy does not know how to play the flute worth a damn. Like I know, I know how to blow into a flute, but I don't know how to play one. I don't know how to adjust my like my pitch and tune to my flute. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna know how to do anything. All right. So you're gonna have to carry me through this. I don't even know like the the finger things. Will you blow this on the flute? Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Why not? Let us do it. All right, here we go. It's time. Time to pay the pipers, boys. Actually, it's like this way. Oh shit, dude. Oh. Pog champ! Bruh, it's a portal! Oh? Bruh. Yo. Nebby's ready! Time to ascend! <laughs> Yo, what if he just became like a bag? <laughs> the little girl purse has evolved into a big girl purse. <laughs> Let's go, Nebby. Let's go, Nebby. <laughs> hey, a boy, Nebby. Let's go. Hey, what's poppin' my G? Nebby, thank goodness you're alright. Please, don't ever do that again, you made me worry so much. And I never imagined that the sound of the flutes would give you so much power, or let you evolve into a legendary Pokemon. Leleo! Not in all of my readings. Never did I come across any hint that you would evolve into a legendary Pokemon. Please, Solgaleo. No. Nebby, please, I need to go where my mother is. We want to protect Alola, but there is no need for her to try and stop Necrozma all on her own. Le Leon! Alright. Sounds like a plan. Howdy, Nebby. What's poppin', my G? Now, we can finally follow after Mother and... <laughs> Wait, Guzma just pops out? Mr. Guzma, but you were... Oh! Yo, her mom's! Oh shit, they got tossed out! On their heads! Bleh! Oh shit, it's a Grosma! Ah! You children! Run away! Oh shit, that thing is a monster! Oh shit, dude! The Grosma's not playing around! He's beating ass! Mother! Yo, Necrozma is intimidating as fuck! I wonder if you can catch it. That is Necrozma. The instant it woke, it flew into a rage and repelled everything that came near it. Lily, run from this place. You can't do anything. I will protect her. Yeah, 
Yo, get him, Sogaleo. Let's go. Le Leon. Oh, shit. Yo, get him, Sogaleo. Bleh. Sun Steel Strike. Fucking Dragon Ball Z ass. Bruh. The cross was beating his ass. Oh shit! Oh, they fused! Bruh. Oh shit. Are they coming for me? What's popping my G? Yo, what the fuck? There's like five wormholes! Okay. Oh shit. Let's pop and holla. Do 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 just a kahuna on a stroll in a lola. Wait, the disturbance I feel. Oh it's you be burst. Oh <laughs> Yo <laughs> Yo flow too. Oh this is one a rare visitor. You'll get him how? Perhaps I should leave this one up to you, my grandson. You'll get him how? Oh shit. Yo, get him top of go go! Tapu Koko's got your back, Hal! Let's fucking go! Yo, that's the boy, Tapu Koko! Look at him out here! Look at him, look at him! Did you come here as a guardian, or just to battle? A little bit of both. The other islands must surely be facing the same threat. I'm counting on you, my comrades. Oh, shit. <laughs> She's going down! Yeah. Ho oh, ho! The Guzzler! Yo, Guzzler's a fucking beast! Yo, get him. <laughs> oh, wait, that's, that's a huge mismatch. Like, she uses ground types. Well, I guess she can get energy balls, but like. Oh, shit. What's up, dude? <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, I'm actually about to get my ass beat. Bruh. So can I like quick ball you or like master ball you? Is that a thing? Is that how this works? Necrozma appeared. So can I like can I actually like quick ball you and like make this super anticlimactic and funny? Is that, is that how this works? You can't catch Necrozma. Okay, so you can't catch the fusion. All right, got it. Understood. Alright, so we're gonna go for the Beat Blast. Just so that if we get hit by like a Sunsteel Strike here or Night Slash, then we'll be chilling and he'll get burned. Ah! Delicioso! Got him! Eh, eh, oh, that did, no, that did no damage. Oh no, that did no damage. Oh no. Um. Why did that do like three damage? I'm gonna cross him and chill. Alright, um. I guess we'll just drill pack. Psycho cut? Boy, okay. So wait, like, in every way, we're a mix match for you with, uh, with our starter, right? Young fire kitten is ready? Like, we can just darkest slurry at you and probably be out. Like, if you psycho cut again, we're just chilling. Okay, morning sun. That's fair enough. But young fire kitten just blows you away. So like, whoa. so like, what are you gonna do? Have a darkest lariat, my boy. Nice slash. We eat those. Okay. So night slash. I guess you have the chance to crit, so that's like why you're going for it, I guess. I did crit as well. But the burn just makes this matchup like easy peasy lemon squeezy, getting the cross out of here. Oh, and the crit right back in your face! Get that ass beaten! Throw that ass in a circle! <laughs> Beat your ass! Bitch! <laughs> ah. Free! Let's pop in the Krasma, young bitch. Ain't you ready for this? Wait, where, where are you going? 
Nebby, my boy! What? Wow, and the crossbow just took Nebby! That's fucking rude. Wait, what's coming from above? Hello? Oh, shit, what the f- Yo, wait, what, what's coming from there? Oh, no! Oh, wait, it's the Ultra Con Squad. What's poppin', jeez? Alola's light has been stolen by Necrozma. Wait, what? But I beat his ass! It's only a matter of time before all of Alola is wrapped in such darkness. And I really loved Alola's light. It was so warm. But what are we to do now? Well, I guess technically since Necrozma fused with Nebi, that's what made him take over the light because he's like the, the guardian of the sun. Makes sense. All right. It seemed to me like the beasts... Uh, like that beast, like Necrozma, was also suffering somehow. It seemed to hurt it, to be without its light. You wor you would worry even for Necrozma? You were too kind, Lily, far too kind. That is why you took Cosmog as well, isn't it? You foolish, sweet child. We will need your help. We'll be... We'll, we need to be able to travel between worlds using the legendary Pokemon power, just as you were able to. You dare ask for our help now? Oh, shit. Now's not the time to be fighting, Dulce. Well, there is one thing I am curious about after witnessing that battle just now. Necrozma seemed quite distracted by the bracelet you wear. That Z-Power ring, or didn't you think so? You mean, it wants the Z-Crystals? It's true, Ace has a, an awfully large number of Z-Crystals after coming so far in his island challenge. Yeah, that's true. Even more than the dumb captains and kahunas and all who focus on one type. I see. So it's the Z-Crystals. And you. You were able to summon Solgaleo, such an able trainer. A trainer like you might ride upon Lunala to reach the world where Necrozma would be found. Yes. Just as you would ride upon a Pokemon here in Alola. We call it an Ultra Warp Ride. So we get to ride on the back of Lunala? That's fucking... That's flames! Hold on. If you want to reach... If you want to go after Necrozma, you'll need to reach the White Warp Hole and go through it. Any other Warp Hole will send you to a different world altogether. <laughs> Sorry, I sneezed. My bad. I, like, felt myself sneezing. That's why, like, I paused, like, three times. All right. Perhaps you will be able to save Necrozma. Okay, wait, so is the knowledge going to come out of anywhere? Ultra Warp Pride. Do we have to try it? Okay, I guess we don't have any choice. Okay. So let me just wipe my nose really quick. Sorry, I've been a little bit sick. Or not even, like, sick, just, like, it's early morning and my my nose passages are not ready for the day. <laughs> okay. So do I need to go somewhere or do I just need to talk to the Ultra Recon people? I'm going to explore a little bit just because, like, exploring is, like, free stuff. Like, if there is any free stuff, I want it. Doesn't seem to be any free stuff. Oh, wait, hold on. We can go back here. Let's go. It's really dark, but your boy can explore a little bit. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything. Feels bad, man. All right, I'll go talk to the Ultra Wormhole people now. Feels. Just wanted to go see. Actually, wait. Hmm. I, I wonder how long this next event is really going to be. I might, I might end this episode off here just simply because I'm afraid that... So, like, I don't know how next long the next little bit's going to be. Cause it's gonna be like, it's gonna be a whole kit and caboodle. All right, hold on. We'll talk to the Ultra Con Squad people, and there seems to be a point that we need to go some like to sh shut off early, and then we'll find out. All right, we'll all share our Pokemon. Do you want to ride on Lunala to reach the White Warp Hole? Uh, Cause like th this would be a really short episode, but like I'm a little concerned because we're already like almost to the 30 minute mark so maybe like okay so we'll make this we'll make this a, a shorter episode because I'm a little bit worried that the next little bit is gonna be really really long and I don't want it to make it like an hour long episode when we could just have like this short little bit and then have like a normal episode in the next episode so we'll end this one off a little bit early but thank you guys so much for watching make sure to hit that like button down below if you guys did enjoy and we'll see you guys in the next episode when we go into the ultra wormhole Bye bye